Hello, welcome to another episode of Cynthia's Artful Living. And today I want to show you the project that uh, I created a couple of days ago and show you how I created it in just a minute. Here it is. It is a spring wreath collage. And I want to show you a little technique that I learned a few years back from Randall Plowman uh, in a one year long course on collage on how to easily put together a collage without getting glue all over yourself and without having to take your components apart, put them back together, and then kind of go crazy because you couldn't remember what you did or you couldn't really recreate it exactly the way you laid it out the first time. So I want to show you how I created this little spring wreath with my bird stencils from Stencil Girl Products. So let's get started. I want to start off making this collage using this piece of cardboard that came off of a calendar, but any kind of sturdy background would work for this. And I was originally thinking that I would use my gel plate and uh, make some new papers, but then as I started looking through some of my mistakes and my, I don't know what you want to call these, I clean off my gel plate sometimes and I've got all these papers. I dug through this huge stack I have that I want to use up. There's all sorts of these papers. I thought, well, let's just use these instead of making making more papers. So there's really, I tried to pick ones that had a little bit of Easter color and here's green and yellow. I don't know what that is. Probably some paint stuck on there that can be pulled off. And here's an orange one. So I thought this would work. So really any kind of collage material will work for doing this. So to get started, what I'm going to do first is I want to put some gesso down on here. So now I've coated this with a layer of gesso and, and then I'm going to, it's still drying here, but what I'm going to do now is I want to use some blue in the background. So I'm using my gel, this is one of my small gel plates. It's kind of, kind of a mess, but. Um... So now I've finished painting that on there and I like that. Over here, I'm going to move this aside, it's going to dry, and it's going to dry while we're working on the birds, but just to show you how I end up, like I have this extra paint on here, and I don't waste any of that, that's why I use my gel plate. And I can use a brayer here if I want paper that already has something on it and get that on there. I can roll out some of this and then pull that up. Okay, what I want to do is I'm going to coat the back of this with the gloss medium, all of these papers, and then I am going to let it dry. I can iron the collage pieces in place. And I just love making collages this way. So you just take this, spread it out. So the trick to doing this, I thought I'd mention this, is you don't really need a lot on the back here. I just use, this is, I got new phone service. My SIM cards came on this little card. So I I thought I'd use it as my scraper. The hardest part about this to me is waiting for it to dry so you can continue with the project. So all of the collage papers are dry uh, after coating them with the gloss. So medium. you can see I've already, uh, I'll show you how I did this, but I've already cut out some leaves and a couple hummingbirds. So what you do is you lay the stencil underneath, which you've probably seen me do this before in previous videos. I've used this graphite stick. Let me get this in the center here. But what works better 
it, the reason why I used the graphite stick in previous videos is because I wanted it to be light and it it doesn't um, cover the area as much and then you can paint and work over it but in this case this is the back and it doesn't matter so I'm going to use I've got an ebony pencil here but with this I can press a lot harder and um, get a lot more of the graphite on here so I can see the outline of the bird yep this was done with the graphite stick and then this one I used the pencil so it was darker and easier to cut it out so the other thing I wanted oh I cut these both out the same direction what you might want to do is flip the stencil over and get a bird going in either direction or whatever it is that you're doing because that you might you might want to use both of them and, and mirror them or you might like one better than another uh, directionally when we're doing this um, composition so I'm just going to do more than one that way I can play around with it well I've cut pretty much everything out and I may have to cut more things out depending on how it arranges on the background but as you can see especially the flowers they don't really look like very much do they they're just like a little cloud or something without much definition but what I can do is by looking at the other side of these I can find the stencil and I can lay it over the top and I can come back in and add some marker or pencil or I suppose you could use a gel pen. I am using a Sharpie and I'm just putting black in here. arrange this. So some of the birds, I wasn't the happiest with the beaks and things like that, but let's see what happens here. And maybe the blue might not be enough contrast with the background, but I might, uh, I might cut it out. So I thought this would be almost like a, yeah, that blue. The blue is maybe we need this aside. Not enough contrast, but I'm gonna forge ahead. And let's put these little guys on here somewhere. Now I didn't put the matte medium on top of the the other side here, which I'm glad I didn't because then I was able to draw on top of it. Uh, I can always I can always add a little bit of glue on here if I need to glue something on top but most of the pieces will be able to stay in place with this method
what you do is you take this. There's, you know, the shiny side and then the matte side. So the shiny side goes up. And then you just lay it. I'm going to try to lay it in the middle here and tack most of it down. And then I don't have this on super high heat. Let's hope I don't start a fire. I, this is a really hot, heavy iron. Ah. I do have, um, actually, I just did that backward. I told you, I told you to put the shiny side up. That was wrong. The shiny side goes down because that's, I did it backwards. How did I do that? See, it just left the paper behind. It was supposed to be this way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> complete. I did it the complete opposite of what I just told you. Okay, go. The shiny side goes down because it, the glue does not stick to it. That's the whole point. But do you see how it's, it's all glued down? I didn't have to pick the pieces up and put glue on them individually. There it is. I love this method of making collages. It's really fun to be able to make your own iron-ons. I've used my stencils and repurposed paper. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.